people who perform a, spe- a specific plan for when and where they'll perform a new habit are most likely to do it. It was March of 2022 when I decided I'm going to start a new habit. And so I decided I'm going to start doing more push-ups. I would do them consistently, you know, 10, 15, 20 for a few days. And then out of nowhere, I'd miss one day. That's not good. And then before I knew it, I'd miss two days. Well, that's definitely not good. Before I knew it, I was missing full weeks. Full weeks, I would do zero push-ups. At some point, I realized this, and I was like, shit, I, I, gotta, get my, I gotta get this shit together. So you want to know what I did? You want to know what I decided to do that got my habits formed, got me consistent, got that you and I probably still need to improve on? I told myself that every single day, every single day that I walk out my front door to go to the bus stop to go to school, I would drop and do 30 push-ups. Do you want to know what happened? From that day, I was entirely consistent. I didn't hit, I didn't miss a single day until the end of the school year. Just, God. And you can tell I was consistent because like, (laughs) in this video, I'm going to teach you the power of implementation intention, how to form a new habit, especially when you don't feel like it. Another way I could say this is, I will do X. Once it hits Y in a place like Z, X for behavior, Y for time, Z for location, I will do this behavior at this time on this specific place. My name is AJ. I help young men improve their lives via reading books. You're obviously interested in that. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button. It's a win-win for both of us. Also, I want you to join our legion, man. I want you to become one of our brothers. I'd love to see you around. It's in the description. You've probably said this before. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to eat more, do more bullshit, whatever. But the thing is, the habit you set is so vague that you (laughs) never end up sticking to it. You leave it to chance to hope that you maybe... Just end up being like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do this thing. So you fucking find a book or something and you decide to go read for five minutes. Before you know it, your mind's already fried. Here's the thing. You think you lack motivation, but it's just discipline and clarity. Imagine the 40-year-old, the 40-year-old man, the fat 40-year-old man, who waits for the right time to go and lose the weight. He waits for the right time thinking, uh, maybe I should wait until like the end of the month to go lose all these pounds. Meanwhile, his wife of 14 years is cheating on him with the guy who was able to stay consistent in the gym. Once you've sent the implementation intention, there should be no more mental fatigue. Why? Because you know exactly what you're going to do at 8am on a Saturday morning in your bedroom. Hopefully it's not fapping. Come on now. For example, I will meditate for one minute on at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning in my bedroom. How much more clear can you get? I will do deep breathing exercises. I will breathe just like that. Oh my god. Well, what you said this... Once you set this intention, then you know what you're going to do. You know exactly what you're going to be doing for one minute at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning in your bedroom. What the? Who can can compete with you at that point? The guy that woke up that morning, that Saturday morning, not knowing what the fuck he was going to do for the rest of the day. Maybe chores, go fuck around, you know, ejaculate some. (laughs) this is the power of implementation intention so your actionable step for this video write down exactly what you're going to eat tomorrow when you wake up 
the, the exactly what you're going to eat, how you're going to get it, what you, how long you put it in the microwave, how long you cook it, anything. That way, when you wake up, you don't need to choose. It was already ready. You already knew exactly what you're going to eat. 